Hey y'all, I'm coming today with a video. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been a long time. Um, I actually made a video explaining why I wasn't making videos for a little while. I posted it, I don't know what happened. I went to look and it was not posted. Um, this is not a what's on my nails, um, cause right now I'm not really thrilled about my nails. Um, so I'm gonna change some stuff on them. I'm just gonna talk today about my makeup and about brushes. Um, I'm on my phone. I just ordered another uh, tablet because ours, yeah, it just went kaputty. Um, so we ordered another one. Um, and I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'll have it in a while. So I'm on my phone. So please excuse the moving. Okay. So about two weeks ago, my husband and I, we went to Atlanta to um, a friend's barbecue. My friend, her husband is Jamaican. And they had like a big, kind of like a pre-anniversary slash housewarming slash just get together barbecue and they live in Stone Mountain and I mean they live you can see Stone Mountain from their street so of course if you know anything about Georgia you know Lithonia is like down the road like literally like five minutes um so we went to I can't think of the name of it, but she was saying, oh, it's not a good, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's not the main mall of Atlanta. It's okay. Y'all, it was good enough for me. They had a Macy's. Because if you watch enough of my videos, which I know it's been a while, um, I have been saying that um, because of my PCOS and because of me having more blemishes that maybe I needed to get a different foundation y'all know I have been rocking with Mac, um, Mac Studio Tech for like the last six and a half years but I was like maybe I need to get something else because when I first started Mac I didn't have as many blemishes as I do now so I was like well maybe I need to try something else so uh, Saturday morning we got there Friday Saturday morning the day of the cookout um, we went that morning me and my husband we went to the mall which I like the mall I, like I said I can't think of the name of it but it's in Lithonia it's right by Stone Mountain um, Stone Crest or something I think anyways not that it's important but I really like the mall um, of course they had a Macy's and that meant they had a Mac because like I told my husband I'm like I don't want to just order some uh, foundation offline because I want to talk to somebody because I really need something more full coverage that's what I was saying Okay, y'all. So we get there. Mm, excuse me. Y'all, my hair is just pent all crazy. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on it because um, it's so hot. It's, well, it's starting to cool down, but it's, it's been really humid this entire summer. So I ain't been doing nothing with my hair as the minimal as possible. Um, so this is just something, uh, this hairdo that I came up with. Like I said, it's just pent. Um, it's all loose, but it's just pent, like almost like a bun, and I love it. But anyways, so when I talked to the girl, I was like, well, ma'am. Oh, and disclaimer, I know I have. Y'all don't think, ooh, her makeup done came off. No, I, I think it's my PCOS, or it may be dry skin, because dry skin runs in my family. I have said that more than once, but around my nose, my nose gets extremely dry. And sometimes, like here, I'll have it here or right in the crease of my nose it'll get so dry to where um the skin like the it, it'll just be like dry skin and it'll shed and it'll always leave my face like a shade i don't want to say a shade lighter i think this is more of my real shade but it's summertime and i have a tan so yeah so i know i'm not shooting the bird but i know this is here so can't do nothing about that um, but anyway, so I was talking to her and I was telling her, you know, I have PCOS and I was saying I have more blemishes and I've been using Studio Tech for years and, um, maybe I need to get something more, more liquidy because I have combination skin. My skin is dry, especially around my nose. It's ridiculously dry. Like, like I said, this little spot, um, but like my forehead, my chin, like everywhere else can get oily. Um, so I have combination skin and like I say everything runs in my family so anyways um, she was like well how do you put your makeup on and I was telling her and she was like well that's where you're wrong get right there y'all needless to say I still have a fresh 
Mac Studio Tech NC50. Yes, I did not have to get anything else. But lo and behold, when she did it, she just did one. She did my cheek. I mean, she went to the spot that was the worst. And, and all she did was put the primer on, which I'm going to talk about the primer. And then she put a little bit of makeup on, y'all. Just a smidge, just a little bit. But what did she use? She used this. I used it this morning. That's why it's dirty. It's the MAC 190 brush. Y'all, nobody told me nothing. I have always been a, a brush is a brush type of person. What a difference this made. Like, oh my God. And y'all, my poor husband. I was like, baby, I want to get... Well, I say my poor husband because we went... You know, I hadn't got paid yet. So I was like, well, baby, I'm going to put the money back in. He was like, okay. So I wanted to get the my foundation, of course. But I also bought this brush. It came up to $78 because, of you know, the brush is like $33. The foundation is 35 and then there's tax. But y'all, this is it. I'm rocking with her. This, yes, honey, this brush. If you now, I have been trying to research because I want to upgrade all of my brushes. I want to upgrade not just my foundation brush, but I want to upgrade my like eyeshadow brushes. So I have actually, because this brush right here, that this is an e.l.f. brush. It's a blending brush, but I love how the bristles are. You know, I, I love them. So I've been trying to research and, and find different brushes. You know, not necessarily MAC, but um, found, not foundation brushes, but um, shadow brushes. Yeah. Y'all, I got to work my way up. Um, <clears throat> but this 190 brush MAC, I love it, y'all. I absolutely love it. Um you don't like and she y'all she explained everything to me i even talked to her about my eyebrows because thick eyebrows run in my family i've said that over and over again thick eyebrows and thick lashes which if you look at my lashes i meant i forgot it i'm gonna talk about the mascara that i'm using but the she she explained to me my brows um just a different way of doing my brows because my brows actually <laughs> Um, how they grow it, they kind of grow backwards most people the front of their brow this part is thin and but me no this part is thick and this part is thin however most people's y'all I'm trying to rush but my eyebrows actually how they grow is kind of flip flop so the front of my brow I don't have to put that much to fill it in the front of my brow the like okay yeah my most people the front is thicker as it goes it gets thinner mine it's thin here but as it comes around it actually gets thicker so what i do is i just put a little bit in the front because my eyebrows are really full naturally and i just kind of extend them a little bit um now one thing that i did get that i did not get was the primer i didn't get the primer um you know the MAC primer. I'm going to eventually get it. I want to get the MAC primer. Since I use MAC um, foundation, I want to get the MAC primer. But I really never use primer. But since she used primer and she, you know she was explaining the primer that you know it pretty much just helps it stay on. I don't really have a big problem with my makeup staying on. My makeup pretty much lasts all day. But I still wanted to get some primer. A girl that works with me, she uses Black Radiance. I guess everything. I like MAC. I'm a MAC foundation person. Period. But she was, you know, she told me she uses Black Radiance. I looked on YouTube. I saw some videos on Black Radiance, um, the True Complexion Shine Control Primer. Like I said, I I don't have a problem really with shine except for like, you know, you know, just spots really. Not over my whole face, but I still bought it. It was cheap. It was like $5, I think. Um, you don't use that much. Um, they have... Um, eyelid primer I ain't finna buy that because I wipe my eye out you know I've explained that I use a Maybelline cover stick in white to wipe my eye out to get my eyeshadow to pop so what I did was I just take just a dab and just put it on my eye first then the Maybelline cover stick um the other thing that I do so the primer I'm going to eventually get MAC 
The other thing that I want to eventually get MAC is the BB cream. I want to get the um, the MAC um, concealer. Um, yeah. I use right now I use this Max Professional concealer. Um you know, it, it does a trick. It does, but I want to eventually get MAC. Now, as far as brushes, like I said, I have the MAC brush. My husband, when we was in there, he was trying to fuss me down, y'all. He was trying to argue with me that I already had a foundation brush. And I'm like, baby, no, I do not have this brush. Y'all, this is the brush that you're talking about. This dang on elf foundation brush. Now, y'all. Th these two things are completely different these two things are not even in the same league you can look at them and tell they're not size alone but what I did was I was like you know what I want to use this brush this one so what I did I actually started using this one for my concealer so what I'm doing is once I'm done with everything um, I take my concealer you know, I put just a little bit because like, you know, like I she explained to me, I don't even put, honestly, y'all, I don't even put concealer on my problem areas for my PCOS. Not no more. I don't. I used to, but I don't. Because um, like, you know, because she explained to me how to actually apply and like, yeah, I'm just going to say this. I don't care how long you've been doing your makeup. Go actually talk to a consultant. Like, and she, no, you know, no shade to YouTube or nothing, because I learned a lot from YouTube. But, y'all, she was telling me stuff, and she was like, yeah, she knows that a lot, you know, YouTube is a great tool, but, you know, sometimes you don't see, necessarily see everything that the people are doing. Y'all, I'm getting up because I'm cooking something, and I don't want it to be. So. But, you know, like she was telling me, she was like, um, y'all, that's my overflow um, if y'all see all that back there, that's my laundry overflow. Yeah, I have so many overflows. I coupon a lot, and I have so many overflows in my house. I have laundry overflow. I have food. Then I have like personal, like you know, feminine hygiene stuff overflow. Yeah, but anyways, so sorry y'all had to get that out of the oven. But, um, you know, she was saying, you know, no shade of YouTube or nothing, but you don't actually learn, you know, you can learn a lot because I have learned a lot from YouTube. I have, I can honestly say that I have talked to a makeup consultant three times. One was when the lady, the makeup consultant that actually, you know, is a cosmetologist who cut my hair, who told me that I was NC50 and to go talk to them. So that was first person. Second person is when I went to Belks and got my first ever Mac. Um, third person was this couple, you know, two weeks ago. So three times I have talked to a makeup consultant. And all six and a half years I've been doing my makeup. So that should tell you. So I understand you can learn a lot, but sometimes it is best. Um, and by her telling me how to apply it and the right brush to use... I don't put the only place that I really put on concealer just to brighten it up is under my eye. That's it. That's the only place I put on concealer just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Um, you know, so yeah, that's it, y'all. Um, like I said, I am just trying to get more. I did go into Walmart and I got this, y'all. I know it looks so rough. I'm gonna have to clean it, but it's a um elf concealer brush the reason that i like this brush is you can actually take your concealer and you can go under your brow so if you're looking for something that's you know that's small because i was having to use the tip of my beauty blender so now with this it was just a dollar at walmart or you can get it at dollar tree because they have i saw a lot of elf stuff today when i went to dollar tree i just didn't get none none of it but yeah, you can, I mean, you really can just put a little bit of concealer and go right under your brow to highlight your brow. Um, I also purchased, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm trying just to get new brushes. Eventually, eventually, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade all to MAC brushes, but I do want to eventually get better brushes, better than just e.l.f. I mean, which I take, I don't know, y'all, because I'm some of my... Some of my brushes that are e.l.f. brushes, I have had for years. And they work just fine. Like, so, 
I don't know. Maybe I don't necessarily need to say. Maybe I just need to add. Just blend different kinds of brushes. But I don't think I'm going to ever turn away from e.l.f. Because e.l.f. has held me down. But this is a crease brush. I like this brush. Because it really literally just gets in your crease. Um, I don't know why this color on my eyes kind of looks. It looks blue. But it's not. It's, it's silver. But yeah. So these two brushes I purchased recently. Um, the concealer brush and a crease brush I love 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 these um, I actually went back through I cleaned out all of my eyeshadow brushes just my elf eyeshadow brushes and like I said I have had these these same brushes they not falling apart the bristles all the bristles still here I have had these same brushes for like four years so I know these brush and I do my makeup like now I don't do it as much as I used to but at one point I was going to make up to work every day I don't do all that no more like I said, this is an e.l.f. foundation brush. I'm not throwing it away. I have had it. But I just use it, you know, to put my concealer on, blend it in, and call it a day. Um, my lipstick, I'm just going to talk about this. I'm trying different. So it is this Wet n Wild, um, just Garnet. And my husband, y'all, my husband, who's a church? And my husband was like, so is that just lipstick or is that something, you know, eyeshadow or liner? Because sometimes I put eyeshadow on my lips and stuff like that. And I was like, no, baby, it's just lipstick. And he was like, oh, it looks good. So I'm like, oh, thank you. But y'all, that's it. I was just coming really quick. Um, just not necessarily a what's on my face. Um, just talking about the foundation and brushes um, and PCOS. So if you are someone with PCOS and you have blemishes like I do, um go talk to, go talk to a consultant because like I said I honestly thought that I needed um more like maybe more liquid even though my face you know even though I don't need a liquid I need see Studio Tech is a good median it's not liquid but it's not a pressed it's not liquid but it's not pressed powder so it's not as dry as pressed powder it's more creamy and you know for my skin like how you know I this is what I need but maybe you need something that's more liquid but I'm just here to say that if you have PCOS and you have blemishes go talk to an actual consultant maybe you don't like Mac maybe you like another brand go to find the brand that you like and go talk to a consultant for that brand because you may be able to you know cover those blemishes by simply your actual you know the way you apply because I have seen I saw this one girl I can't remember her name it's been a while but she had a PCOS makeup tutorial just showing how she applied you know how she and it looked okay but I'm not a fan of making it where you just look like orange or you look high yellow and you're not I like to look my complexion and like I said, right now with the summer, I have I'm, I'm tan, and yeah, black folks tan. So this is more my natural complexion right here. But you know, cause as you see, you know, way down here is actually lighter. But she, you know, the girl, no shade to her. She, you know, her blemishes was covered up, but she had to use a lot, a lot, 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 lot of. Um, foundation a lot of corrector like she used a lot and it's possible that is how you know it's how you're applying it so that's just my thing um on the PCOS tip um we have just real quick we have gone and um you know had my husband's sperm checked everything is fine with him um November will make our year that we have been off birth control um but now I have to go have some procedure done. Um, I can't. It's uh, something HSG or something like that, where they put dye into my fallopian tubes, um, and they're like they're putting dye up and everything to make sure everything is open. There's no clogs. There's no scar tissue. Um, yeah. So I'm not really anticipating it because they, they said it is a little bit discomfort. You know, discomforting. But, you know, I'm, I'm faithful. I know that this is just 
you know, stuff that we have to go through. Everybody's journey to parenthood is different, and this is a part of ours. So, yeah, since this is, you know, I'm talking about PCOS in this. Um, but, y'all, that's it. Um, I will be back. Hopefully, the tablet come this week, um, and I'll be back making my what's on my face Sundays, um, what's on my nails. Um, Lord, we almost, y'all, we almost time for scandal and how to get away with murder, because this has been y'all the, the summer shows other than empire i'm gonna say other than power the summer show's been so dry even love and hip-hop to me it's it's been dry so but yeah y'all i do thank y'all for watching as always i make videos strictly because i like making them um thank y'all if you are still subscribed thank you very much um you know because this is uh, i know it's been a while um my oh one last thing my lashes like I said, I meant to bring the um, to bring everything over here. It's uh, I was a customer came into my job and I was telling her I loved her lashes, and I was telling her that I was thinking about getting fiber opt fiberglass or yeah fiberglass eyelash uh, mascara fiberglass mascara, and she was like, well, don't do that because it was like twenty something dollars um, for the mascara because I can't wear fake lashes. Even though my lashes are pretty long, I can't do fake lashes. So she was like, well, go to Sally's. There's a mascara. Um, I, I don't even think it has a name. It has a green top. So I was like, okay, y'all, this is it with the green top. Yeah, this is some good. And, and it actually works just like fiberglass. Um, um, am I saying that right? fiber optic or whatever mascara it works just like that the only thing like this morning i was kind of rushing if i would have taken took my time and put you know applied some more like another coat or two my lashes would look even longer um because they really really extend your lashes um so that's one thing i want to talk about but y'all as always i do thank y'all for watching like i said i make videos strictly because i like making them um and yeah, I will be, I'm, I'm back on it. Hopefully, like I said, the tablet comes this week. But thank y'all for watching.